Hey guys, welcome back to the Sora Podcast. Uh, as we cover the Ancient Earth series on Curiosity Stream, um, that we're going to be continuing on watching the Triassic following the Permian, which broke Devra, and then it broke me, so I couldn't say the show's title, and we just spent the last 20 minutes laughing like idiots. So, we'll be going back into the Triassic, which, uh, as we discovered halfway through the Permian episode, we think is, uh, we're covering all five mass extinctions, because we're smart boys and girls with graduate degrees. <laughs> um, so we'll be covering, I believe, the Triassic extinction next. Yep, yep. Triassic mass extinction. Yes. Which a lot of people, I don't think, associate. They don't remember this thing. No, they, it's because their cut, their bigger brother, like, had to have his Tony Award winning <laughs> stop number, where they all die, very dramatically. <laughs> Uh, so we'll be covering the Triassic, Jurassic Extinction, uh, and once again, this is on Curiosity Stream. This is probably about 10 to 13 minutes-ish, so it should be a quick episode. Um, so yeah, here we go. Yeah, that's fair. There's not a lot of, uh, Triassic stuff in our household. Besides, like, my post Yeah, that's not a dinosaur. What are those arms? What? This was made in 2016, 2017, folks. Yeah. get a bit more arm mobility. This this kind of, the graphics on this worse? is... I don't think it's gotten worse. Oh, no, it's the ocean just always look bad. It's the ocean you didn't like. Is that a snack? No, that's a plesiosaur. It looks like a snack. That's a goddamn leg monster! Who wants some tree fitting? I am never doing that. <laughs> really cool ones. What is a humanoid? It's like uh, it looks like similar to a Ramphorinkid, but it's got like a much bigger I head. There were flying boys in the Triassic. I know Platyosaur. That was a toy I had from the museum. Okay, that's an Ankylosaur that is hauling. I think. Yeah, that's a very bad raptor. Cretaceous, you got your T-Rex in my Triassic soup. <laughs> Once again, they provide good to accurate timelines. And this is so pretty. Guys, priorities. Yes, I will say, I really want to somehow get like, the digital file to this, this strat graphic. column. graphic, yeah. If anyone can get us in contact with the Curiosity <laughs> Stream for editor team for, for educational classes. There's a helicopterin. Angry naked mole rats. Yep. The uh, final level of God of War for, uh, <laughs> 1, where you fight uh, Ares. Why do we build the wall, my children? Oh, sorry. For those who don't know, that was a Hades Town reference. Because <laughs> he was saying it looks like the underworld. Can we explain this amazing graphic? Yeah, that's strat column. It looks like strat columns you would see in lap. Yeah. Like, it has great detail. When you zoom in, you can actually see... You, yeah. Did you see the granular yeah. structure? Hold on, ladies and gentlemen. Pause your stuff real quick. We're, we're taking a second here. Because <laughs> if, you, if you go back, it... it Yeah. Like, when it zooms back in, where, where we're like 30 seconds back, don't, don't mind worrying about rewinding. But if you get in close with these... You can see different... You can, you can see, see... Yeah, I mean, that's not how fossils look like in... Oh, no, I'm not even talking like about that. fossils. Look at the rocks. Yeah. You can actually see granular uh, sizing there and bedding and stratification of those beds. That is... This is detail. And, Some geologists <laughs> worked on this graphic, and, and they did not care about the animals. And even though the fossils technically wouldn't look how they would look in that stra <laughs> it for the visualization, it looks really good. Yeah. But then you get to the, the PS3 graphics <laughs> that we're about to see again, and... Guys, I swear the oceans look worse than the land. I don't know how that's possible, but they do. It does look like a game we could find on Steam. Looks like uh, the school bus, like, oceans. Oh, Magic School yeah. Bus? Yeah. Well, that's giving these animators too much credit. <laughs> okay, so we're back starting. Wait, it was a mass murder, sir? It wasn't yeah, a disaster? Yeah. 
trying to kind of permit this innovation because the deck could then clear itself to deal with the permanent plastic. So you, you basically wipe the slate, not clean, but pretty clean. <laughs> It's like if you played a D&D campaign and you never could bring back a character. It's just total party kill. But one of the NPCs made it to the next level. Exactly. And now the NPC's the main character. They're going to make his campaign. And I think that's the opening to Vox Machina, basically. Roll back the clock to the dawn of time and sing that song with me. Oh, wait, no, that's... That's a different movie. That is a movie we should watch some point. Guys, you covered this in the Permian. We discussed this in the Permian. I mean, the, but the, with, the corals don't look terrible. But, fun fact, with bivalves filling the niche that brachiopods used to have, I only know that because I taught that lab two weeks ago. <laughs> Fair enough. Yep. Going up back here, guys. So, Florida. <laughs> Anyone is hearing that? Our cat is uh, really happy to see these uh, aedosaurs. Yeah, she's got some babies. But look at that boy. He's hauling. Do, 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 I love how his green armor just ends at his neck. Its head looks like the skull crawler head from <laughs> King Kong. Or Kong Skull Island. Okay, why is Quetzalcoatlus yeah. flying why is at it, this why point? Why is he the fight? Coelophysis? Oh, I... Coelophysis, that one's right. Yeah. But Quetzalcoatlus... What is the Eudimorphodon? These look way too big to be in the Triassic, guys. We just had a max extinction. Like... That's, you're way too big and way too advanced. That's like after the Cretaceous, all of a sudden we saw like... Uh, Fully formed ungulates. Like, I was going to say, what's the like, giant uh, giraffe rhino guy? Oh, the... Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Like, that would be like seeing that directly following the, the end of the Cretaceous. I don't think that is feasible. Away. They're like phasing through the, the grass. Okay, so just a quick look up for Eudimorphodon. Um, she just phrased that breakup of Pangea like it's an actual breakup. Sorry, go on. Well, clearly they swipe left or one swipe right. Yeah, that's plate tectonic movement. Uh, but I was looking up. Eudimorphodon, and that would be more like that Ramphorhynchid we saw at the start, because yeah. they even say it's the closest relative to Ramphorhynchus. It's only three foot long and 28 pounds. No, I'm pretty huge. sure that was a Quetzalcoatlus yeah. model. They're making them look huge. She was salty. I mean, these live shots look great. Yeah, right? <sighs> and then it looks like it has, like, bad YouTube graphics for the volcano. Now that's pretty. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure there's a Jedi being lopped in half down there. <laughs> it's 
So what we're finding out is... Volcanoes are dicks. Oh, that... Like, some of these boys know what to do. They, yeah, these are not the right... These are ketchup bottles. That model does not belong yeah. here. Yeah. Al Gore was right. These are real shots. That's a real shot. Mm-hmm. That just looks like an alien planet. It looks like a video game. Also, if you go back to that scene where you see the skeletons in purple, I'm pretty sure the background wasn't rendering with the, the one skeleton with its jaw hanging yeah, open. No. Also, they said um, 75% of species go into the fossil record. I don't know what they're trying to say, but that also implies that 75% of species get fossilized, which is not the case. Like, 30% of species get fossilized. I'm not sure about turtles, though, because every other year it seems like it's Big Brother for cladograms. And they always vote out the turtle first. Yeah. I'm pretty sure they just, you know, shaved down Scrat from Ice Age. <laughs> I mean... The eyes are so inset. Like, your eyes being that inset, I don't think you would be able to see past your own, like, ocular cap. No. At least it leaves me traumatized. No. That weird squishy nose guy broke you. It really did. All right. Well, that concludes the Triassic-Jurassic extinction. We will uh, see you guys in the next episode when we are at the Cretaceous.